Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today I am going to help you complete your animal vocabulary notes. You should know some of the names already from the videos that you had to watch or the ones that we watch in class together. I am in your OneNote, Chapter 2, Page 10, Animal Vocabulary. I'm going to make it big so that we can see it. Eliminate the table of contents. So los animales, one of my favorite topics to talk about. I love animals. You all should know that by now. Um, and we're going to take the notes together. So los animales, plural, because we've got a whole bunch of them here. I'm just going to start and go across. So here, horse is el caballo. El caballo. Not a cognate, but good one. El caballo. Cognate for the next one. El elefante, el elefante. The next one, moo. La vaca, la vaca. Now the V sounds like a B, right? Vaca, but it's a V. Then next to it, we have a couple there. I mean, chicken in general, whether it's the one you eat or don't, is pollo. But each of these guys have their own names. So the female is called la gallina, la gallina, that's like hen. The rooster, who, by the way, in Spanish says um, cock a doodly do. Okay, so he is el gallo, el gallo. And the little one, you should get used to this, right? Ito on the end for small. So it's going to be el pollito, chicken, little chicken. Pollito, el pollito, ito meaning small. Okay, let's look at row two. So this guy, oink, oink. no, wait, I can do the sound, ready? Okay, that's my pig noise. Okay, so this one is, whoops, let me fix that. This is el puerco. Think of the word pork, right? El puerco. Next to him is a little tiny lamb, la oveja, la oveja, ba, ba. Next we have la cabra, la cabra, the goat, ne, me, me. Next to that guy, whether you eat him or whether he's walking, he is el pavo. El pavo. I don't know how to make a rooster noise. Gobble, gobble. Okay. And I tried to do some animals that you might see. So the next one is el zorro. Zorro is fox. Zorro. This one you should know from all the work that we've already done. El oso. El oso. This might be el oso grizzly, but you can have an oso negro or oso polar. Oso, oso panda. This is el mono, monkey, mono. The next guy, la tortuga, la tortuga. Next row, cognate, el tigre, el tigre. The next one you know, El Leon, El Leon. My favorite, La Girafa, La Girafa. Now, I have these in my backyard, maybe you do too. El Venado, El Venado for deer. Then I'm going to give you a word. It, it's going to look like something you know in um, English. So it's called las mascotas. And it looks like the word mascots, right? Well, mascota means pet. So pets, um, maybe that's where the word mascot came from. Mascots are really just big pets. Okay, this is a pet fish. When it's alive, it's el pez. Remember, if you have more than one, they're los peces. The Z changes to C, and we add e es. 
I have two of these at home, right? El perro, double R, el perro. I also have two of these at home. El gato, el gato. Last row. Okay, two words for this. You're probably going to hear la rana. Then there's a slang word, el sapo. But we'll say la rana. The next one is kind of a cognate. El serpiente. El serpiente, like serpent. Next one is from Spanish, so you're really sp saying a Spanish name when you say it. La iguana. And the next one, in general, the word for bird is el pájaro. El pájaro. What are you hearing? I hope you hear that accent, right? Pájaro. Okay, that is the end of the animal notes. And then, just so we're clear, after you finish in your notes, you're going to go to your OneNote, go to the next page, and sort the animals. All of the animal names are there, and you might have to pop back and forth between the two pages, but you can easily go from 10 to 11. Yes, you have to sort all of the animals that are in the purple box, and you're sorting them by where they live. Okay? You can figure it out. There's no video. No video needed for that homework. Gracias.